peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here chillaxing in the heart of nature, baby, sending you tons of good energy. We got the birds up there, but are you saying things which are turning out to be an actual reality? Like you say, life is horrible, and then your life becomes horrible. Or you say life is fantastic, and life actually ends up becoming fantastic. That's right, word is bond, and there is power in the word. Deep divers, five phrases to remove from your life right now. Deep divers, let's just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Are you aware? of how powerful your words are. Are you aware that word is bond? Do you know that you can actually speak whatever you want into existence? Deep divers, I'm about to share with you the five phrases which I totally have removed from my life and how my life has changed, how I've become my greatest version because of it and we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? So let's talk about the power of the word. A lot of us, we say phrases, but we don't actually realize that these phrases have massive consequences, not only on our well-being, but also on the impact of who we will become in the future. Deep divers. I have started to use phrases right now that actually empower me. So let's go through, let's go through the first phrase to remove from your life right now to become your greatest version. It is this phrase, when I, it could be when I get this, when I do that, when I start the seven day vegan challenge, shout out to everybody who's been doing the seven day vegan challenge, eating a lot of papaya. When I meet Ralph Smart, when I finish studying, <laughs> when I finally get some money, <laughs> when I'm, right? When I, when I, the reason why I remove when I from my life is because it moves us into the future mindset. You see, deep divers, I've learned along my journey, there is only the here and now, and we have to be talking really in the present tense. So that's why I've stopped using when I, when I become successful, when I meet the woman of my dreams, when I meet the man of my dreams, when I, when I, when I. But what are you doing right now that's the question. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So what's the remedy? What is the solution? Instead of saying, when I get this and when I get that, I always say, I have it right now. When I get a new bike, I'll be happy. When I get a new car, I'll be happy. When I. So what do I say instead? I already have, okay? I already have, and that shifts you into the frequency of pure gratitude. So instead of saying when I just say, I have, act as if it's already here. That will pull you into the present moment where all the power lies. What is the second phrase to remove from your life right now. That's helped me along my journey. I'll be, I'll be, okay? I'll be rich one day. I'll be happy. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> the reason why I remove I'll be is because once again, it moves you to the future mindset not the present mindset where the power lies. I'll be okay in 20 minutes. 
I'll be okay when everything falls into place. That's the ego talking. Ego says, when everything is right, when everything is perfect, I'll be at peace. I'll be. Spirit says, find peace in the present moment and then everything will fall into place. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So I've stopped saying I'll be. And I always find the peace in the here and now. Everything I do is geared towards the present moment. So instead of I'll be, I say I am. The two most powerful words to say in the universe because whatever you put after that is what you will become. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. I'll be grateful when, no, I say I am grateful. I am rich. I am successful. I am meeting amazing people every single day. I am confident. I am blessed, I am happy, I am thankful. You see how powerful that is? What is the third phrase to remove from your life right now in order to become your greatest version? If only, uh-oh, that word, if only, if only I had a bit more money. If only, if only I was famous. If only I got that job promotion. If only I had a million YouTube subscribers. If only people loved me. If only I had a better body. If only I could afford that. If only I had a nicer car. If only I had the perfect partner. If only I had a bigger house. If only I could travel every single day. If only, if only, can you see that if only is now becoming a massive rant? It's now turning into complaining. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Don't get it twisted, deep divers. I always used to say, if only. Then I realized that it was making me complain. Now there's a difference. It's great to express any emotion you're going through, but realize this, if you can go 24 hours without complaining, you're gonna see how your life will change. If only things were different. If only that didn't happen in the past. If only I could turn back the hands of time. If only, if only, if only. We gotta focus on the here and now. Once again, if only pulls you back into the past. Don't look back, you're not going that way. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. You see, the reason why I stopped saying if only is because not only does it make me complain more, but it moves me into the mindset of wanting something, which means I don't have it. Anytime you say I want, you are sending a signal to the universe that you don't have what you desire. Therefore, you will always remain in lack. Once again, anytime you say I have, you are sending a signal to the universe that you already have it and therefore the universe will respond to you accordingly. If only life wasn't this way, life is not something happening to you, it is responding to you, right? Empowerment right there. What's the fourth phrase to remove from your life right now that's helped me along my journey? I'll try, Ralph, to start the seven day vegan challenge. I'll try to be healthier. I'll try to work on my business. I'll try to work on myself. I'll try basically means I'm not gonna do it. Deep divers, ever met someone and they're like, you're getting on with them and then you arrange to meet the next time. They're like, I'll try and come and see you. I'll try to come and see you. No, they won't because guess what? Next week passes, another week passes. Yeah, I'll try and see you the next time. No, they don't because just like Yoda said, don't try, do. So instead of saying, I'll try, what do I say instead, deep divers? I will. Do it. <laughs> okay, saying, 
I will, once again, you are making a commitment. And it's so amazing how these small, intricate details in the way you speak can actually impact your reality. In ancient Egypt, all over Sumeria, they realized that word has power. There is power in the tongue. And I've learned how to speak whatever I want into reality. I don't say I'll try to do it. I'll say, I say, I'll do it. I don't say I'll try to inspire people. I'm already doing it. So always say, I will do it. <laughs> What's the fifth phrase to remove from your life? Deep divers, that's helped me along my journey. Okay, check this out, deep divers. Check this out, deep divers, I should have. You see, anytime you say, I should have known, I shouldn't have made that mistake. I should have been more careful. I should have done it this way. I should have done it that way. Look, it's already happened. It doesn't matter how many times you cry over it. It's already happened. It's not going to change the fact of what's already happened. So instead of self-blame, it's more about self-love. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Less self-judgment, more self-love. Instead of saying, I should have, and crying over the past, say, I know for the next time. And right now, I'm gonna create a beautiful reality for myself and the cat down the road, and then just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? Hey, beautiful deep divers. We are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Just, just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to everybody who's been getting the good ass prana shirts. Ralphsmart.com slash clothes. Look amazing today. If you've got a question, add me on Instagram at Infinite Waters. Deep divers, have a beautiful day. Infinite Waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You! <laughs> I'll try and send you positive energy. No, I will do it right now. Take that, take that, take that positive energy. <laughs>